The CNN source saying that the effort to pressure Ukraine for political help alarmed John Bolton so much that he told an aide to alert White House lawyers that Giuliani was a hand grenade who will blow everyone up. And a source familiar with Fiona Hill's testimony says the former Russia advisor told lawmakers that she was uh, she saw wrongdoing in the Ukraine policy and reported it. Joining me now is Sam Donaldson. Sam, I appreciate you joining us. What do you think of the New York Times reporting tonight? Well, it's one of those bombshells. It's like poor Donald Trump has uh, the version of the Chinese water torture. Drop, 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 and a final drop breaks his skull. We're, we're just watching this develop, and it's amazing. I mean, I, I saw the Nixon plumbers operation. That was in the White House. They were the rogue operation. They broke into the Watergate and elsewhere looking for dirt on President Nixon's opponents. But this, according to the Times, is a rogue operation involving the highest officials of the land, the chief of staff of the White House, the president himself, of course. And Bolton wanted to alert the lawyers. What did he expect White House lawyers to do? Call the cops, read the president his rights? Donald Trump, you have a right. That may happen someday, not yet. But it's just amazing. And I believe, Don, that this conventional wisdom that we've all thought was right, that there's the House would impeach, but the Senate would never convict with all those Republicans there, may be wrong. I think the Senate could convict if things like this keep going. Interesting. You, um, the, the new reporting, Sam, says that according to today's testimony, Bolton told Fiona Hill to tell the White House lawyers that I am not part of whatever drug deal Rudy and Mulvaney are cooking up. And we're also learning more about Mick Mulvaney's involvement and, and how he is working with Giuliani. What do you make of that? Well, again, it, it's high officials going against government policy. They are the government. They're, they're supposed to set the policy and carry out the president's wishes. But of course, that's where it stops at the top. Mm. It's the president's wishes. Quite mm. clearly, according to the smoking transcript, it's not the tape, but it was released by the White House, and we read that the president says, do us a favor. And it's quite clear that he tried to put the arm on the Ukrainians to dig up dirt on the Bidens to use yeah. against Biden in an election here in the United States. Well, and if people out in the country begin to think that's, that's not right, that's wrong, yeah. he's cooked. Well, the whole Sondland part of it to me is uh, maybe the most interesting because Sondland is going to testify. He's also the one on, on, on mm -hmm. the transcript, right, of the uh, text messages saying, oh, no, it's no quid pro quo. And there's also reporting uh, saying that that came directly from the president. I think that it may be the, one of the most interesting parts of this report. Obviously, Giuliani is the, you know, um, common denominator here and the president. But there's more bad news for Rudy Giuliani tonight, Sam. More key witnesses are testifying uh, in the impeachment inquiry this week. How much worse could all of this get? No, I don't know. I mean, it's going to... Uh, Sondland, for instance, is not a career diplomat. He is an ambassador because he gave a lot of money. Uh, and he's going to have to save himself. When we hear, see a report that what he'll testify is that when he told the ambassador, our ambassador to Ukraine, there was no prid pro quo. It was because in a phone call, Donald J. Trump had told him to say that. He's saying, hey, it's not my idea. I'm clean here. The gambling going on here, I know nothing about it, really. Well, let's see about that. His testimony will be uh, important, but I think what we heard today, or we, the report of what we heard today, uh, what was said today, rather, is uh, perhaps even more damaging than Sondland's testimony will be. Um, you have um, covered politics in the world for uh, decades. And you, so you would know better than anyone else. I'm an old guy. <laughs> no. I'm an old guy. Yes. <laughs> public support. Public I'm support. happy to be one. <laughs> I, I, public support is, is, is key to, to impeachment, to Vital. the impeachment inquiry. Uh, and that you say right. that it could spark the House Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and the GOP to turn on the president. You talked a little bit about it earlier, but let me put up this poll and I'm gonna get you to discuss it a bit more. This new Quinnipiac poll puts support for impeachment and removal at 46 with 48 against it. How much public support is needed for Republicans to flip? Oh, much more support than that. I mean, the Fox poll said 51% think it's an inquiry that should be pursued and all of this. It's just starting. Uh, but it's moving so fast, and, and we'll see whether there's enough time for Americans out there who are busy with their own lives, doing other things, not even watching your show, 
to get interested in it, to think, oh, it's not just a bunch of politicians squabbling in Washington. I'm tired of that. But there's something going on here. There is really gambling going on here. Mm -hmm. And if enough Americans, because remember, Trump has 30, 31 percent of hardcore. They'll follow him to hell or wherever he's going. They don't care about the facts. They don't know about the facts. OK, they're fine people, except they're ignorant about these things that we're talking about, and they will not budge from that. Now, but they're 70 percent of the rest of us. Now, if, if, if enough of those people decide there's something important here and they think the president ought to be removed, he will be. But of course, if they think it shouldn't happen and the poll you just cited is not near enough support to sustain conviction in the Senate, then it won't happen. Let me just give you a little story, and that is about Robert C. Byrd, senior Democrat from West Virginia. Clinton is being impeached and he's being tried in the Senate and in two weeks they'll vote. And my dear, my dear professional companion, Cokie Roberts, asked him the question, the Senator, how are you going to vote on Article 1? It's on perjury. Perjury is a felony. And they say, he, well, he lied to the federal judge under oath. And Byrd said, and I quote him directly, because it's emblazoned in my mind, who's kidding whom? Of course he committed perjury. But the people seem to like him. They don't want him removed. And I don't know how I'm going to vote. And of course, in two weeks, he voted no, which probably mm. was the right vote. Mm. It's up to the American people, guys out there and gals, if you want this president removed, he will be. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, I don't care what the evidence shows. I don't care what anybody says. He won't be.